Can you believe it? We are to episode 400 of the 10 Minute Teacher Show. Thank you all for your encouragement. Yes, a couple of weeks ago, we did have to take a little bit of a break. Many of you know we were damaged with Hurricane Michael. We just got approval to be able to put in our HVAC system that's heating in air. So we haven't really had heat or air since uh, October 15th, but we're happy and we're comfortable and we're not complaining because so many people have many more problems than we do. But we did take a little break. So we're going to air some shows a little further into December than we usually do. And I'm really excited about this show. This is kind of a viral movement on Facebook called Help a Teacher. It's very organic. And it's a great way for all of you out there to get some support. But also, I would encourage everybody listening to try to help a teacher this season. Thanks for listening. The 10 Minute Teacher Podcast with Vicki Davis. Every weekday, you'll learn powerful, practical ways to be a more remarkable teacher today. Would you like to help a teacher? So today we're talking with Debbie Scott, the founder of Help a Teacher. And we're going to talk a little bit about what is Help a Teacher and also five ways people can help a teacher. So Debbie, what is Help a Teacher? Oh, thank you for having me on. I appreciate this. Help a Teacher is primarily a Facebook page. It is a Facebook page that started in my living room in Midland, Texas, about eight months ago. Um, I was watching the Florida shootings on the TV and just thinking about how terrible it was for teachers and what we expect of teachers, what we ask of teachers, and they're not paid to do the things that we expect them to do, you know, during those moments of crisis. And so my heart just went out to them and I contacted a few teachers that I knew and asked them to send me a list of things that I could provide for their classroom. And they did. And they were very moved and very grateful. And and I was just thinking about other teachers. And I believe that the Lord told me to create a Facebook page, have teachers post their wish, and then have anybody fill them and call it Help a Teacher. So I did. I'm 64 years old. I sat down and I started my very first Facebook page. And I called it Help a Teacher. I asked teachers. I just got on and said, teachers, if you need something, please let me know. I would love to help you. And So I had a few teachers that would get on and they would post a few wish and and that I would send them things. Um, And it was really cool. I have a niece, Jennifer Brooks, who has another Facebook business and I called her and she introduced the Amazon wish list to me. And so we started asking teachers to post Amazon wish list on the page. And um, it just grew from there so quickly, teacher after teacher. And and then we started having other people come on and buy things for us also, which was a shock to me. I, I didn't expect to have so many teachers and I certainly didn't expect to have other people coming on and purchasing these supplies for us but it was just it was wonderful okay so a teacher just goes like I'm looking at it now and I do have to say I love all your graphics and your (sighs) hilarious uh memes and all that because that's awesome too but a teacher just goes on here and they post their Amazon wish list and then what happens well, after they post it, they'll, they'll post it to the page and it comes to the community page. And then we have advisors. We have a lot of advisors who are working the page almost constantly. There's about three hours out of 24 hour period that no one is on the page and that's about it. So these advisors will help the teachers put the correct information in there, the things that they need to, to, to get into the post for the, for, for people to look at it. And then once it's ready to post, then those teachers will, will, um, we, we share it over to the main page and then anybody can look at it. Once anybody can look at it, then it's open to, to any of the 3 million people that our page is reaching to take a look at, to say, I want to help this teacher. Some people look for second grade teachers. Some people look for special education teachers. Some people just look through until a teacher catches their eye and then they can click on that Amazon wish list, and all the things that that teacher has requested will pull up. It just takes a moment to go through and click the things that you want to send and then you just send it on its way through Amazon. Cool. Now, do you have a way of like I'm looking at the page now. Do you have a way of verifying that these are real teachers? 
No, ma'am, we actually don't, but it's a Facebook issue. So if a fa- if, if it, it's a live Facebook, so if they post that they're a teacher, then other people who are on their page are going to see them posting uh, and they're going to say, what are you doing posting as a teacher? Uh, and so, you know, I don't really have any way to verify that. So I just sort of assume that that's going to work out. And I can't really see too many people posing as teachers, you know, but if they want to pose as a teacher and they get away with it to get a box of crayons well then they'll just get away with it (laughs) yeah and hopefully not I mean most of these folks look like legit teachers so okay so you've told us a little bit about it and they can go to facebook.com forward slash help a teacher now you know there's donors choose there's all these other sites how do people say that yours is different Ours is very different because ours is geared towards the teacher. Donors Choose is an excellent program, and I know that teachers have been using it for years, but teachers do most of the work, and then when they actually get the items that they've requested, they actually belong to the school. So if the teacher transfers or has to move or goes to a different grade, those items stay with the school. What we are doing is actually to benefit a teacher. So the items that she requests and that she gets, he or she, they belong to her. If she goes to a new school or a new grade, she takes them with her. Wow. And that is, you know, there, there is something to be said. I know some schools might not like that as much, but a lot of us, you know, we build these, these things that we want to use with our students. And I'm not sure any other teacher would actually, you know, use. Okay. So you have five ways people can help a teacher. What's your first one? <laughs> if they would just simply go to the Facebook page, um, like and share the Facebook page, we need to get the word out. So just type in, in Facebook, help a teacher, and, and then like that page and share that page to your own personal page. That okay. helps awareness. Awesome. Okay, what's your second? My second is to talk about it, to talk about help a teacher, to talk about it with your daughter, your sister, your mother, your friends, your neighbor. Just talk about help a teacher and say, hey, have you heard about this Facebook page, help a teacher that's actually helping teachers? You're not giving money. You're not donating money to a source where you have no idea where it's going. You're picking out what you want to spend and what you want to buy, and you're sending it directly to that teacher. When that teacher gets that item, she's going to post a picture of it on the Facebook page so that everybody can see what she got, including the person who sent it to her. Cool. Okay. What's our third? Our third is while you're on the page, go in and look at the teacher post. Go in and and um, just like the teacher post. That gets them more circulation. Share them if you're inclined to. You can comment on the teacher post. If a teacher says, you know, hey, I, I, uh, I work in an inner city school and I don't have any supplies and maybe you're not able to afford to send some supplies that day, write her an encouraging note. Thank her for teaching. Oh, so you can just write notes to these teachers if you want to. Absolutely. It's Facebook. It's about relationship and commenting. So absolutely. Sure. Okay. What's your fourth? To pick a teacher and click on her Amazon wish list and send her items from her wish list. You can send one item or you can send 10. You can send every item on her list if you're so inclined. Or you can send a small box of pencils. Everything that is purchased for these teachers is one less thing that they're not having to purchase out of their own pocket. So while it's not a raise... It can sort of feel like a raise. Yeah. Okay. What's our fifth? Our fifth is on our website, helpateacher.com. We have a section called Notes to Teachers. This is just a public shout out to teachers. The, the website will tell you how to do it. And then you just go to the Facebook and fill in the information. And we will take what you send us along with a picture and we will put it on the Facebook page. It will go onto the main Facebook page and everybody will see your shout out to that teacher. So it's, it's cool. pretty cool. Yeah. So there are lots of ways to help teachers. And, um, you know, I would just encourage all of you listening to head over to the page, make your Amazon wish list. And, you know, your Amazon wish list is something you could share with with others as well. Um, That's just really cool and very exciting. So, um, Debbie, is there any word that you want to say to teachers? That I just appreciate so much what they do for all of our children and the hearts of teachers is just phenomenal. They do what they do. They put themselves on the line and they do it over and over and over. And it's not for the pay. It's not for the recognition. It's because it's in their hearts and uh, teachers are my heroes. I love it. Thank you so much. You know, um, in the days of, um, 
it, it's just so rare, I guess, to hear people who are like, I just want to help teachers. <laughs> Uh, because, you know, in this day and age, so many teachers are, are are discouraged or frustrated or say they're not valued. And here's somebody who's not a teacher who's like, you know what, I just want to help teachers and it's help a teacher. And here you go. And uh, and I think it's awesome and encouraging and fantastic. And uh, I hope teachers will be very supportive. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate this, Vicki. Thank you for listening to the 10-Minute Teacher Podcast. You can download the show notes and see the archive at coolcatteacher.com forward slash podcast. Never stop learning.